we going today, family? I don't know. <laughs> We're going on an adventure. We're gonna go to Durango. Apparently it's a neat little town, bigger than Pagosa. Exponentially bigger, right? I don't know. I've never been. What are you doing? It's a lens cap. Um, I need coffee, but we're gonna go explore the town with the dogs. That's my phone. Okay. Welcome to the video. <laughs> Are we going? I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not lost. We're just not not lost either. So. <laughs> At least the view is nice. We are lost. I think not we're leaving lost. Durango. Yeah, I think we're at the boat. Should probably turn around. I'm looking for a bathroom. Ah, uh, you're not gonna find it here. <laughs> yeah. Not um, exactly a safe spot. No. Don't worry, I'll find something. No. <laughs> Hang on, boys. We'll find lunch soon. Wow, that's lovely. I'm just gonna zoom in right past your face here. Yep. Wow. Mm hmm. Let's turn around here. Come on, turn oh, yeah, turn around here. Dim Hall. Oh, Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witness. Witness. Witness me turn around in your parking lot. What <laughs> bad jokes can we go from here? Like, you know, <laughs> what other things can we say now? So this is the not so glamorous side of <laughs> what we do. <laughs> We're like holed up in a Taco Bell parking lot. We're not gonna be able to get out. Scarfing down burritos. <laughs> oh, that's mine. And a seven layer burrito. Tomorrow. <laughs> we, we've got laundry going in the laundromat and then we just dropped off the car for an oil change. Now we're walking back to the laundromat to put the clothes in the dryer and then we're gonna walk back to uh, pick up the car from the oil change and then we've got the dogs. I feel a little bit like a hot mess but it's not that bad. Um, but check this out. We got little tiny homes. I really want to know if you can go in. It's not the best car in the Neither is a trailer. Look at that cute little tiny home. Maybe that'll be the next thing for us. What would it be like to have two stories? Oh there's a loft. Yeah. So we thought we could talk to you guys about um, kind of the ups and downs of, of this lifestyle and traveling and working and living on the road because we had kind of a, an instance yesterday that wasn't ideal. So I thought we could talk about that once we get home, but our clothes are in the dryer. We are waiting on the car's oil to get changed and then we're gonna head back for lunch. We're gonna come back out and do this all again? Yes, yes, he's so good, he's so good. <laughs> We also have this little guy over here. He's chilling on the bench. Like he owns the place. Brady, your tail. Brady wants to be friends so bad. Brady. So you want to talk about Durango? Yes, let's talk about the day. So what I do is basically I go business to business, usually small to medium sized businesses and you know, sell them a website or just kind of ask if they're interested and just kind of do a consult. So that's my normal day. You know, I do more than just websites. It's kind of the normal day. You just go talk to them, what their thoughts are, and then usually there's follow up calls and things like that afterwards. Uh, well, in Durango, we got into town. It took us about an hour to get there, right? Mm -hmm. Had the dogs. Had the dogs <laughs> with us, you know, because we can't leave them in the trailer for a whole day of work. We couldn't find the dog park, so I thought maybe we can work there or something. So we drove around looking for that. Initially, we got into town and we stopped right downtown, parked, uh, you know, paid the meter and all that, and just started walking. Well, there's a lot of businesses that weren't open yet uh, around that time. And there's a lot of businesses that I just couldn't really talk to for the most part. Just and the type of business. We were trying to find a coffee shop to work, like to start from, mm -hmm. um, which is what we usually do. We'll get, you know, coffee, connect to the Wi Fi, and then he'll start looking around at businesses, making phone calls, and I'll do my client work. But we couldn't find a coffee shop that had outdoor seating for us to take the dogs to because it's a lot of just, you know, businesses on the sidewalk, kind of like downtown Austin, if any of you guys have been there, or like 6th Street. Not a lot of patio space. And so, the one place that we did find with outdoor seating, it wasn't dog friendly, which was really surprising. So we just pretty much walked up and down the road looking at businesses. Most of them weren't open, had the dogs, 
And of course, Brady was like bored immediately. And so we got back in the car and we're like, okay, what, what are we going to do? We need, we need to work, but it really wasn't the situation that we were hoping for because we had hoped to find the coffee shop and get our stuff done just kind of like a normal day. We ended up going to Starbucks. But then, yeah, I mean, it was, it was fine. You know, Starbucks mainstream. Just, we were trying to find like a nice coffee shop that kind of represented the city. You know, that's mm -hmm. kind of what we do. You know, we, we like to find a, a local coffee shop, but not, <laughs> nothing dog friendly. So yeah, we stopped at Starbucks. Um, I actually started making calls to people in Durango from that Starbucks and that started going well. And so that was my first real like sign that, that Durango might be good. All before that, I was just, I was beating myself up kind of mentally. It's like, man, this is kind of a waste of a day kind of thing. It all turned out okay. I already have some uh, follow-up calls sort of given some special deals for some people too. Worked at Starbucks yeah. for a little bit, um, had their Wi-Fi, they had an outdoor seating area where we could have the dogs, and then we went to Taco Bell. And then we got lunch, and then by that point we were like, well, we can't really do much here with the dogs, so let's just head home. So we drove, now we're home. We went back to town. Okay, we went back to Pagosa downtown yeah. and had the dogs with us, and then worked at our usual coffee shop. So it's just kind of something I wanted to touch on. I posted on Instagram um, about it, I think last week, how, I mean, it's really not, a lot of travel people, you know, if they're working on the road, a lot of travel sites and, and videos and what YouTubers will share like the fun, kind of like what we've been doing. We've been sharing a bunch of hiking videos and like all of the fun, but they don't really talk about as much the the times in between those mm -hmm. moments and the times in between the moments are kind of hectic and stressful and a lot of it is we just don't know what exactly the plan is like we don't have a plan we don't know what we're it. doing five days out of the week that we work and then two is for fun so just like a normal work work week for most people so yeah and i mean yeah we do have some degree of flexibility being on the road and not having to be in an office but at the same time we don't know where we're going to get our Wi-Fi all the time. Uh, we don't know if we're going to have the best cell phone service. And so, you know, having jobs that are based on that, um, it can be a bit stressful. And whenever we go to a town with, with an idea of what we're going to get done and we end up not doing, you know, but 10% of what we had originally thought, yeah. it can be a little frustrating. But then at the end of the day, we do come back home and we see this and we remember this is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is really cool. So it makes up for it, to, you know, you can't just dwell on things. You just have to kind of let things go and then find out better ways to, to, to solve those problems next time. I just want to remind you, <laughs> wonder why it's just coming. It's taking yeah. a little bit longer than normal. We haven't been able to work on it as much as we had hoped just because of the Everything. busyness of, of the trip itself. All good things, but it's just, I, I pictured again, I had this plan in my head that we were going to be able to have, you know, several hours in the evening to work on the website. Just planning everything out and figuring out all of that and just kind of bumming off of people's Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what, I, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah road but, warriors, yeah. I mean, at the same time, the places that we're using their Wi-Fi, we're giving them business. So we're getting yeah. coffee from them or at the gym, the gym. Um, paying for, you know, the week pass or at the grocery store. Um, definitely giving them business. <laughs> we've been going to the grocery store every day. Oh, my gosh. Uh, which is kind of like part of our fun. But that's, that's what we do. An, that's, that's another story. That's how we have fun. just wanted to update you guys on that and let y'all know it's not all rainbows and cupcakes. Um, we haven't had a cupcake yet. I had cake. We had cake. We yeah, had a lot of cake. Because it's your birthday. Hi. What is... So, the day that you guys are watching this video, it's my birthday. It's Happy Anna. birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. This is sad. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know that reference? SNL? Yeah, SNL. It's your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> it's your birthday. Yep. Okay, so, yep. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there because we always try to keep it real. Uh, I know the videos lately have been a lot more entertaining and fun as far as, like, events and going places and seeing new things. Yeah, don't get used to it. <laughs> but during the just week, kidding. and I actually started a day in the life vlog, but I didn't finish it because I was like, we're not really doing much. It's kind of boring. Yeah, boring. I, I mean, but we're, we're just, we're working. We sat at the coffee shop for several hours, and then we came home and we made dinner and work somewhere you know <gasps> not a whole lot going on so yeah um hopefully you guys are enjoying this video and hopefully y'all enjoy the footage to come which will be our trek on the rainbow trail mm -hmm. it's quite beautiful quite beautiful okay Ooh. uh got a thing enjoy the next clip guys okay guys so i'm sitting here editing this video and i'm realizing okay. that it's almost 30 minutes so we're actually going to do 
the second half of today's video tomorrow. So you guys are going to get a bonus video this week. And tomorrow's video will be the rainbow trail and hiking and us talking about the long hike that we had and just showing a bunch of the beautiful footage from that. But so tomorrow's video will be up at four. Uh, and I guess that's for Colorado time, whatever time zone we're in. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know because it was going to be a super long video to so two videos in a row, which I think is pretty cool. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see y'all in the next one.